What's up guys, Leopold the Brave here, and welcome to the return of OC Fights. If you wish to see how to submit your own OCs for the show, just click the logo on screen. So to kick off the big return, we're gonna have a fight between the two hosts of my old show, Fictional Fights. Hera and Vic are coming back. The way this works is I'll spend a minute discussing each character's story while their strengths and feats are displayed on screen. Then we'll have a fight and I'll explain who wins and why. Now that that's covered, let's begin. Now Hero was a very analytic person. His friends and all other kinds of people would typically come to him for advice, considering that he usually gave the best solutions. Hero was a deep thinker, he always did his best to get any situation to the greatest possible results. Unfortunately, when it came time for him to choose a career path, nothing quite suited him. Business analysis stuff seemed to be the only career path that would fit his gift. And as you can imagine, he didn't want to do that as it sounded quite boring. So instead he took a break, did his own thing, and tried becoming an inventor. One of his inventions, specifically a vest that could manipulate electricity, sparked an idea in his brain. During the creation of this invention, he had to analyze how much electricity he could take in, how much electricity he could shoot out, what damage it could do, and all these really other important factors and stats that he'd need to pay attention to. He really seemed to enjoy this type of analysis and it fit his gift perfectly. Be sure to check out his full article in the description below to find out how it led him to versus debating. Now let's take a look at Vic. Now Vic is definitely not the sharpest tool in the shed, as you've probably already guessed. But the reasoning why goes a bit deeper. Vic grew up in a very poverty-stricken area. Everything had to be done by hand. Building, cooking, hunting, and Vic was one of the hardest workers in his little town. Spending most of his early life working and building things explains his muscular build. But once Vic finally had a chance to get out of that town, he took it. He wanted to go out into the rich world and explore his building creativity. And he was decently successful. He became a pretty well-known construction worker there and worked all day every day. But after quite a few years of this, he fell in a depressive rut. He still wasn't quite expressing his creativity like he wanted to. He was always building something that someone else wanted him to build, not something he wanted to build. However, during his journey through depression, he met Hira and Leo. He became their personal construction guy and got to build whatever he desired. To find out what exactly happened and what Vic got to do, be sure to check out his full article in the description below. But now, it's time for these two to fight. Once I defeat you, I'll run the show! It's time to electrify the show! Fight! Hoya! Take that! What a! Come on. Well, I guess you're nothing more than the comedic sidekick. And the winner is Hira. Sure, both have the same level of destructive power, but Vic only gets that power from his weapons. And while Hira is technically the same way as he gets his power from his vest, it's way easier to somehow disarm someone than take off an article of their clothing. Not to mention the speed of Vic's weapons are nowhere near fast enough to outpace Hira. Vic's reliance on weapons eventually led to his downfall as Hira can energize his own body with electricity as well as shoot it out of his vest. Hira's speedy physical and power strength are more than enough to beat out Vic's plain old weapon strength, which isn't even fast enough to hit Hira in the first place. The winner is... Hira. <laughs> 